Good Wednesday morning to everybody in YouTube land and thanks again for checking out my channel and listening to me talk about silly bullshit that only matters to me and not too many other people in the world. But then again, that's the whole purpose of YouTube is for your own personal sounding board. So, let me climb up on my soapbox here and tell you what's bothering me today. I want to talk to you today about probably the most boneheaded fucking move any corporation could possibly pull and you probably understand or already know where i'm going yeah that's right nike teaming up with colin kaepernick i mean a big wtf just pops in my head when i think about that i mean i'm flabbergasted and then to disguise it as as he has sacrificed so much in his life kyle kaepernick has not sacrificed shit in his life. He's a poor little rich boy who has a big fucking mouth and a bigger ego. And because he's got that big ego, he thinks he's got the, the right as a half-American, uh, Afro-American, to take a knee during the national anthem and disrespect veterans and disrespect this country. Hey, Kaepernick, fuck you. Nike, fuck you. I can't believe you two assholes would get together. I used to have a little bit of respect for Nike for being a small company that came up out of nowhere. The guy sold shoes out of the back of his car for a while. You gotta admire that. But to do something this boneheaded, to team up with probably the most hated fucking NFL player of all? I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't even believe for the life of me that Nike would do something so stupid. Now, Nike... I'm sure you've watched the Facebook posts, and I happen to agree with these Facebook posts. Nike, if you wanted a true definition of a gentleman who did sacrifice, how about Pat Tillman? Did, did, did somebody in your research department just skim right over the top of his name and went, let's go to Kyle Kaepernick, he's a cool dude. Okay, or is the, or it, does Nike, does Nike actually... Uh, approve of Kaepernick taking a knee during the national anthem? Do they approve of that type of a spokesperson for their company? I mean, really, that that's absolutely insane. It's like uh, Joseph Mengele being the spokesman for Fisher Price Toys. <laughs> it just don't make no fucking sense. All right, I, I first off, Kaepernick. I mean, come on. The guy is a fucking moron. He thinks that we're supposed to feel what he feels because he feels repressed. He feels downtrodden by the police in America. Come on. Really? Kaepernick, get your fucking afro out of your fucking head, okay? You, you look like a fucking moron sitting there taking a knee during the national anthem. You have pissed off I don't know how many people... You've ruined the NFL. You've absolutely made it a, a laughing stock. And for the NFL to not punish you personally, Kyle Kaepernick, is ridiculous. They should have stripped you of everything that you had associated with the NFL. Completely taken it right out, right out from underneath you. Because you don't deserve it. You poor little fucking rich boy crybaby. Oh, poor me, poor me. I can't get a job. Well, do you ever stop to think Kyle or Cal Colin? Kyle or Cal? Whatever. Fucking Kaepernick. I'm going to just call him Bozo from now on. Do you ever think Bozo, it had something to do with the fact that you're a fucking idiot? You're a complete fucking moron, Kaepernick. I can't believe you. You, you, you are the type of person that you have everything going for you, and all you do is cry and bitch and whine. Then it all gets kind of taken away from you for a while, and now all you do is sit around and cry, bitch, and whine. So then along comes the dumb motherfuckers at Nike. I don't know who your advertising department is, Nike, but boy, oh boy, you got to fire them stupid fucks right off the bat. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. Sacrifice and Kaepernick? Oh, it's like fucking water and oil. They just don't go together. It's ridiculous. The man had a privileged life. He was adopted by some fairly well-off uh, white people, if I'm not mistaken. And I could be mistaken because I don't really give a flying fuck about Kyle Kaepernick. I think he's a goddamn idiot with a big mouth and a bigger ego. 
and he needs to be shut down. He needs to be told by the American people that we don't want you, we don't need you, we don't want to listen to your fucking bullshit rhetoric that you're going to spew out. Because now all Nike did was give him an opportunity to spit out more bullshit. Now, as far as Nike's concerned, I don't wear Nike's. I don't give a fuck about Nike's. I'm not into that fucking gym shoe uh, thing where, you know, you got to have fucking 10,000 pairs and you got to have the Air Jordans and you got to have this and you got to have that. I give a fuck. A shoe is a shoe. If it's comfortable, I'll wear it. I don't give a fuck if it says Nike, Adidas, New Balance. But now, I would, my dog, he's hunting. He's hunting geckos. <laughs> He loves hunting the Florida geckos down here. He can't get enough of them. But the other one, she's like, fuck this shit. She, go ahead, wear yourself out, idiot. I'm gonna sit here and watch you. Cause that's what she's doing, she's watching him. He's got, they come off these poles here and out of the trees and they run across the grass here and he gets them. Did you get that gecko? Where's that lizard? Where's that lizard? Where's that lizard? Get it. Well, I can't zoom on this. But he'll he'll chase him for for hours. He'll he'll chase him to the point he gets so tired he can't even hardly stand up. But it feels like it's 100 degrees out here today, so that ain't gonna take very long. Now uh, back to Nike. I I, I will I, you know you could give me a pair of fucking Nikes right now and I would probably just give them to a homeless person. Uh, just based on the fact. That Nike could be so fucking stupid and so idiotic in their decision making to actually think that Kaepernick has any value in America as a spokesperson. And especially as a spokesperson under the guise of that he's suffered, that he's sacrificed, that he's given up so much in his life. He given up shit, people. He still isn't giving up shit. You know what? <laughs> Look where he lives. Okay, he lives in a really nice, nice house. Look at the cars he drives. Really very nice vehicles. Expensive vehicles. He lives a privileged life. How do you live a privileged life from the time you're adopted to the time that you're in the NFL? How does all that become sacrifice? Where did he sacrifice? Where did Kaepernick sacrifice one fucking thing? I, I have no idea. I'm still trying to find that little clue, that little gem that shows us what he actually sacrificed. Because as far as I'm concerned, Kaepernick didn't sacrifice shit. And he never will sacrifice shit unless, you know, something stupid happens. And he's like some of these other NFL players and, you know, kills a girlfriend or gets caught with drugs or DUI. But other than that, I would give anything to live half of his life. I'd give anything to have just one-fifth of his money. And he's going to come out here and say, I'm oppressed, I've sacrificed, I'm, I'm down, I, I'm, I'm downtrodden, I, I understand what it's like to be pressured from the man and all that bullshit. No. Here's the deal. I think Nike's doing this on purpose. Because they know he's a hot topic button. They know it. So, let's. What, here's what I think Nike's going to do. They brought him out. They're going to run a couple ads with him. They're going to get all this hate and controversy brewed up about them. And they're either, one, going to come out later and apologize in that stupid corporate bullshit way that they, you know, that they uh, say they're sorry. But they're really not sorry. Uh, it's just, it's a ploy to make money. It's all it is. Uh, get your name at the top of the charts. And I really think that's what Nike's doing. Or what they're going to do is simply... Run with this ad for about a month or two. Come out with a new face of sacrifice. And who knows, it might be Pat Tillman. I have no idea who it could be. But they're going to come up with another face and say, Oh, well, you know, we're doing a series of people. That's what it is. We're doing a series of people. And Kyle, Kyle or Colin? Colin Kaepernick was just our first choice. That's one of the two ways that they're going to do go with this, and I guarantee it. That's what they're going to do. They are, this is a sales ploy, people. 
This is nothing more than advertising hype of your own product. Remember, bad news travels twice as fast as good news. So the fine folks, the fine idiots at uh, Nike are doing just that, in my opinion. They're going to create a, uh, a hyper buzz in the media. They're going to have a frenzy about their name. Everybody's going to know Nike. Everybody's going to be out to either boycott Nike or support Nike. And they know this. They know this is going to go this way. Look at this. <laughs> Don't you wish you could be that happy with just a stick and rolling in the ground? <laughs> and the other one, look at him. He's, see, he's already tired out. He's already tired from chas chasing them geckos. But watch this. W watch this. Where's them lizards? Where the lizards? Get them. Where's that lizard? Where is it? Tell him. Tell him. Usually he barks. But see, this is how stupid he is. He doesn't even see the two. There's one right there. He doesn't even see that one. And it's... And there he is, right there. <laughs> but now, now it's over here. Yep. Oh, these things are fast, man. <laughs> you gonna get that lizard? While you're at it, get that Kaepernick. Bite his ass. <laughs> All right. Well, that's basically it. It's gonna be a little short one today. Not the uh, 20, 30 minute long rants. Um, but I just wanted to come out here and say that personally, I think if you support Nike or you support Kaepernick in anything he's doing since he started his, uh, taking a knee during the national anthem, I would have to say that you're pretty much an idiot and you don't like America because that's all I get from Kaepernick's message of taking a knee is I don't like America. I disrespect veterans. I don't care about my freedom. I don't care about, I want everything me, 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 me. That's what this poor little rich bastard is doing. It's all about me, me, me. How much, how much press can I get? How many times can I get my name in the paper? Because let's face it, unless you're a huge NFL fan and, and you don't really follow the NFL, have you ever heard of Kyle? Kyle. Colin Kaepernick before? Maybe in college if you follow college football. But have you really heard about him? No. When did you start hearing about this asshole? You started hearing about him after his first, I'm going to take a knee. Now, you can't tell me that he is truly 100% believing that taking a knee is for a cause. I think he did it just for the publicity. I really do. I think he did it to bring his name to the forefront. But I also think it backfired on him just a little bit. I believe that he thought that if he took a knee and he started this big trend of all well, these idiot fucking NFL players who obviously have brain damage if they're going to take a knee during the national anthem, which is so fucking disrespectful in my eyes. Um, I think he thought that I will get a lot of attention for this and it backfired. He got the attention, but it was negative. But then all these other idiot NFL players started, you know, started joining him. Oh, you know, he's right. He's right. Oh, yeah. Police brutality on, on uh, well, they kind of made it gender, or not gender, but race specific for, um, for uh, blacks and, and Latinos, I believe. That's what he was protesting for the police brutality. Of, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say police brutality and racial profiling and all that doesn't go down. Because it does. It does go down. It is wrong. It is 100% wrong. These idiots, these idiot cops who like to just go out and beat the shit out of people because they're one race or another, that's wrong. But I'm not going to disrespect my national anthem to the country, America, that I love. I'm not going to disrespect that national anthem by doing something stupid like taking a knee during it. I am going to stand because that is what we do in America. That is what you do when the national anthem fucking plays. You don't be a jag off and take a knee because you want your name in the paper. 
And that's all he really wanted. And it kind of backfired on him a little bit. But Nike, I truly believe Nike has 100% knowledge of what they're doing. And that this is just an, uh, an advertisement uh, thing that they're doing, that they're running. And I have a helicopter flying over me. Maybe it's the NFL. Maybe they're coming to take me away. I don't know. Oh, there he is. He's way over there. He's behind the trees. I'd show you, but he's behind the trees. And I had this thick fucking overgrowth behind my house here. I'm trying to see what it... Oh, it's army helicopters. We've had a lot of army helicopters flying overhead lately. That kind of got me worried. Wor it's kind of got me worried a little bit. But then as somebody that, that uh, lives near here told me, with the, uh, the tropical storm Gordon that they're using the helicopters to transport uh, material and stuff to uh, the scientists or whatever, and they're flying them into the uh, the, the outer ring of the, the storm that for whatever. I don't know. But all I know is that there's a lot of them over here. Okay, well, uh, with that being said, I am going to cut this one off. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit less of a normal vlog rant for me. Uh, they're normally about 25 30 minutes i'm only going on 17 minutes here so but the bottom line real simple kaepernick you're an asshole you suck i hope you never play football again i hope this ruins your fucking career i hope your loud mouth writes a check that your fucking ego can't cash i really do and nike you're about as dumb as they fucking come or you're as brilliant as they come it's one or the other I have to say in this point of view, it's probably that they're really stupid and they're probably listening to uh, focus groups because these corporations don't just come out with these ideas. They got to have focus groups first. So I'm sure they went to a, a specific area for their focus group and they were all like, yeah, man, we're all with, Ka with Kaepernick. We're all with him. Yay. Take a knee. Take a knee. So they went, this is a good idea. You know, and that's the problem when you just do focus groups in one specific area. You don't get the true feelings of the entire country. You get a portion of how the country feels. And that portion generally tends to be on the wrong side. Take it for what you want. But with that being said, if you like what you heard, please hit the like button. At the very least, just give me a like. If you really like what I got to say and you've watched me a couple times, please hit the subscribe button. That would help me out a great deal. I would love it. And if, you, if you're a new subscriber, I'll try to mention you in the next video. Um, other than that, other than the like, subscribe. Oh, the bell. I almost forgot the little bell thing. It's down around there somewhere. Uh, little bell icon. You hit that, you'll get to know every time I put out a video. And uh, boy, won't that be thrilling for you? I'm sure it will. You can sit around just look at your phone all day and go, is he going to put one out? Is he going to put one out? Wait for that bell. Wait for that bell. But... I love to kid myself like I actually mean something in this world. And I don't. This is all just me. This is all it is. It's just me. Me yammering on about shit that really just bugs the fuck out of me. And maybe a few other people. But regardless, I'm out of here. Going on 18 and a half minutes right boop there. And uh, we will talk to you guys later. And maybe I'll put one out tomorrow. Maybe I'll put one out this weekend. Not really sure yet. But like, subscribe, bell icon, and I am out of here. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. Goodbye.